Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this uh, topic, angles and plane figures. And for this particular lesson, you're going to look at one of the angle properties called angles on a straight line. So we have a sample questions on the same to help us with illustrations on how we solve problems involving angle property, angles on a straight line. At the end of the lesson, we'll have some questions in the form of assignment just to help you with practicing and just to help you check on your understanding of the concept as has been discussed, as we're going to discuss during this, during this lesson. So we have uh, 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 the, the first one, first angle property called angle on a straight line. So we say angles in a straight line are two adjacent angles formed when two intersecting lines combine to form a total angle measure of 180 degrees. And uh, we have good examples here like angle AOB. angle AOB plus angle BOE BOE this equals to 180 degrees we also have angle AOC these are the adjacent angles that sums up to 180 degrees so we have B uh, AOC A OC plus angle COE this equals to 180 degrees again angle uh, AOD plus angle DOE this again equals to 180 degrees of course, all of them you put, you sum them up together, you'll get 180 degrees. For example, you have uh, you have A O B plus B O C plus C O D plus D O E. This equals to 180 degrees. All of them put together will give you 180 degrees. If you sum up all of them. Then we have this. State the pair of adjacent angles. So adjacent angles we have like. AOP. And. Uh, POOB. This will uh, sum up to 180 degrees. Again, we have A O Q plus Q O B. Again, this is 180 degrees. We have A O R. And then you add to R O B. This again equals to 180 degrees. So, in short, you can simply talk of A O P and P O B, those are adjacent angles, they need to add up to 180 degrees. And of course, as I have mentioned, if you sum up all of them starting from A O P plus P O Q plus Q O R plus R O B, all this will give us 180 degrees. So there could be two or more. We have uh, I, a, a few examples on the same application of that in answering questions in math. So find the value of the angle marked W from the figure below. So what we do is 30 plus, this symbol used here means 90 degrees. It means a right angle, which is 90 degrees. So plus 90, plus W, plus 27, this is 180 degrees. 
So 30 plus 90 is 120 plus W plus 27 is equals to 180 degrees. So we have W plus 27 plus 120 is 180 degrees. So if you add 27 to, to 120, that is 147. So W plus 147 is 180 degrees. So 147 can go to the other side. So W is equals to 180 minus, if 147 crosses, the other side becomes minus. Minus 147, that's, that will be Thirty-three degrees. So W is thirty-three degrees. Similarly, we we can do this the same way we did the previous one. So we have X plus three X. plus 2x is equals to 180 degrees. So this is uh, 6x and eighty degrees. So you divide both sides by 6 and you have x is equals to 3. Again, this is an application of the same. So we have T plus S again equals to 180 degrees, but then there is something, there is more information provided. We are told the angles marked S and T are such that T exceeds S by So it means the difference between the two. Of course, we start with the larger one, which the greater one, which is T. So T minus S is equals to a fifth of a right angle. A right angle is 90 degrees. So a fifth of 90. So we have so we have 90 divided by 5 which is 18. So we have T minus S is equals to 18. So we can then conclude that T is equals to 18 plus S. So we'll substitute T in equation 1 for 18 plus S. So equation 1 is T plus S is equals to 180, but T is 18 plus S. So 18 plus S and then plus S is equals to 180 degrees. So 18 plus 2S is equals to 180. So 18 can go to the other side. So 2S is equals to 180 minus 18. So 2s is equals to 162. So you divide both sides by 2 and s equals to 81. From there, we can find the value of t. So t should be equal to 18 plus s. So that is 18 plus 81, which is 99. Find the value of, find the values, find S and T. So S is 18, T is 90. So the last one here, again, we are told X, Y, and Z are angles in a straight line. So you simply sum them up, and the answer should be 100. So you have x plus y plus z is equals to 180 degrees. So we have x is 3p plus 25, y is 2p minus 20, and z is 2p plus 35 is equals to 180. So 3p, 2p, that is 5 plus 2p is 7p. So we have 7p. 25 minus 20 is 5 plus 35, that is 40. 
and this is giving us 180. So 40 will go to the other side. So 7p should be equal to 180. So 180 minus 40. When 40 moves to the other side, it becomes minus. So 7p is equal to 140. Divide both sides by set by 7. You have p is equal to 20. So find the value of p. Already we have gotten the value of p. Hence the values of x, y, and z. So we'll have to go back to the original expressions for the respective letters starting from x, which is equals to 3p plus 25. So 3 into 20 plus 25. So then x is equals to 60 plus 25, which is 85 y the same y is 2p plus 2p minus 20 and p is 20 so 2 into 20 minus 20 so this is 40 minus 20 which is then 20 degrees but these are now angles x y and z are now angles and then z the same applies to z is 2p plus 35 so 2 into 20 plus 35, so 2 by 20 is 40, plus 35, so that is equals to 75. You'll only know that you have done the right thing when you sum up all these three angles and you get 180 degrees. So 75 plus 85, that is 160 plus 20 is 180. And so that is all. We have a question to help you with practicing. Same thing that you've been learning through this lesson, you can attempt when it can be soonest possible. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.